My first day of school. I live in a house with my father and mother. One day, I was sleeping peacefully. My father came into the room and woke me up. He told me, Today is a new day for you. Let's get ready. I did not hear him properly but was excited. My father was going to take me to a new place. Maybe it was a new sweet shop that opened in the market. He gave me a set of new clothes and a bag. In the bag, all my books and copies were there. I was confused a little. What is the use of these books and copies when I was going to a sweet shop? I was wondering when my mother helped me dress up. I asked her, Mom, where are we going? She told me, we are going to a place very interesting and fun. I felt very excited and waited for my father. I entered the car with my mother, and my father started driving. The surprise. I knew we were going to a new place, but the sweet shop was not the destination. I was wondering again. To my surprise, my father stopped his car in front of a huge building. It was not a sweet shop, but I saw children wearing the same dress as me. I thought they were all here for a surprise. My father and mother took me to the gate of the building and said, Go in and enjoy. Today is the first day of school. Make new friends and have fun. I was stunned. I saw my parents not entering the gate but told me to go. I did not go anywhere alone before. I was scared and started crying. A lady caught my hand and told me, Don't worry. We will enjoy ourselves in the class with others like you. I was sobbing and could not see my parents go away. She took me inside a beautiful classroom. I saw kids like me with the same clothes. Some were having fun, and some were crying like me. I did not like the place as my parents were not there. The lady gave me toys to play with. I stopped crying for a while and played with other kids. I learned a few things. The bell struck. The lady told me to stand in a line and wait. My parents arrived, and I saw them. I started crying again. They held me in their arms and asked, How was the day? I told them it was not good and that I was not coming back here. Chapter 2 On my second day at school, English surrounds me like a maze. The kids chat in a language that feels like a fast river, and I try my best to keep up. When the teacher speaks, I listen carefully, but her words sound like a puzzle I can't solve. It's tough. In class, I feel a bit lost. I want to share my thoughts, but the English words get stuck. During group activities, Everyone talks, and I want to join in, but the fear of saying something wrong holds me back. It's like I'm in a big bubble, and English is the key to pop it. Lunchtime is both exciting and scary. The cafeteria buzzes with laughter and conversations. I sit with kids who seem friendly, but I worry I won't understand them. The menu is a mystery, and I hope my pointing works. Every day feels like a little adventure, trying to figure out the language of sandwiches and salads. But with time, things get better. My classmates smile, and I start picking up words. Teachers help without making me feel silly. In group projects, I gather the courage to share my ideas. The fear of being misunderstood fades away, replaced by a growing confidence. Slowly, 
the English puzzle becomes easier. I realize that it's okay not to know every word. The kids around me become friends who help me learn. Each day is a step forward, and I begin to feel at home in this new world of words. School, with all its English challenges, turns into a place of learning not just about subjects, but also about friendship and understanding. The language that once seemed like a barrier becomes a bridge connecting me to a vibrant community. And as I navigate through this linguistic journey, I discover that every word I learn is a small victory, bringing me closer to fully being a part of my new school adventure. Chapter 3 English Surrounds Me Like a Maze the other students chat effortlessly, but their words feel like a puzzle I can't solve. In class, the teacher's instructions sound like a river of fast-flowing sounds, making me anxious. I want to participate, but the fear of saying something wrong holds me back. During group activities, I struggle to keep up with the conversations. English feels like a tricky dance, and I'm still learning the steps. Sometimes, I worry about being misunderstood. Yet, my classmates smile and encourage me, making me feel like I'm not alone. The cafeteria is a mix of different languages and accents. It's like a language experiment for me. I learned that my English journey is not a solo mission, my classmates and teachers are here to help. With each passing day, English becomes less of a problem and more of a friend. I start joining class discussions, and my sentences become smoother. The fear of making mistakes slowly fades, replaced by the joy of expressing myself. Facing English challenges at school becomes a learning adventure. It's not just about speaking a new language, it's about growing, making friends, and becoming part of a community. In overcoming language barriers, I discover the power of persistence and the warmth of a supportive school environment. The once overwhelming English language transforms into a key, unlocking doors to friendships and understanding in my new school world. Improving English speaking and listening skills takes time and consistent effort. Here are some tips to help you enhance these skills. For English speaking, practice regularly. First engage in daily conversations in English, even if it's with yourself. Second find language exchange partners or join conversation groups online. Speak slowly and clearly. First focus on pronunciation and speak at a pace that allows others to understand you. Second, record yourself speaking and listen for areas of improvement. Expand your vocabulary. First, learn new words every day and try to incorporate them into your conversations. Second, use vocabulary apps or flashcards to reinforce your word bank. Watch English movies and TV shows. Third, pay attention to how native speakers pronounce words and express themselves. Fourth, repeat phrases or sentences to practice intonation and rhythm. Read aloud. Fifth, choose articles, books, or news in English and read them aloud. This helps improve pronunciation and fluency. For English listening. Listen to English every day. First, surround yourself with English by listening to podcasts, music, or radio stations. Second, watch English language movies, TV shows, and YouTube videos regularly. 
Third use subtitles. Fourth when watching movies or TV shows, use English subtitles to associate spoken words with written ones. Practice active listening. First pay attention to the details in conversations, such as tone, intonation, and specific words. Second try summarizing or retelling what you've heard to reinforce understanding. Remember, consistency is key. Gradually incorporating these tips into your routine will lead to significant improvements in your English speaking and listening skills over time.